Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to another dry water tutorial. I'm your host, Professor Aaron. Um, this is something we created this last Christmas season. Just gonna be simple. How I did these lights around the windows and then lit up the background uh, from that. You can tell by these snowflakes and on these shutters. It's actual night photo blending with a daylight photo. Just wanna show you some uh, tricks I learned. All right, let's get into it. And for starters, I just wanna find a house. So find a nice house. Um, ooh, this one up here looks perfect for what we're trying to do. So to give proper attribution, shout out to Bambi1964 on Flickr uh, for finding this house, taking this picture. So just created a new composition. I'm going with full HD here. Drop your house picture into it. And then with the pen tool, just draw a simple shape, a rectangle around the window. In the shape layer, drill down to your stroke and the magic happens in this dash. You just add a dash to it and you get another option to add another one, but it's a gap. And so this lets you control your dashes and gaps. So set your dash all the way down to zero. And the reason that disappears completely is because on line cap, we have butt cap and change that to round cap. Then it rounds out your stroke. Now you can turn the dash all the way to zero. And that just gives you some little dots all around and turn your gap up. So there's enough space for two more dots in between the ones that you have. So they're you know kind of spaced out nicely. For effects, we're going to start with the glow. And before we get it much further, I wanna darken up the image. I'm sure there's some great tutorials out there to do day for night, but I'm just gonna throw on a curves and bring down the highlights. On your glow, back on your shape layer, turn glow threshold to 12%, glow radius to 17, and glow intensity to nine. And this is just what worked for the project I was on. So your glow colors, change that to AB colors. Now you can change your colors. You can change it to whatever you want. I pick green. And using glow gives it a nice halo while keeping the center white because that's what it would look like in a camera. It would be blown out in the center. Well, to make the other colored lights in between these, I'm simply going to duplicate the whole layer and then come down to the dashes area and just offset it a little bit and change the color. I'm gonna change this one to blue. So just change color B because that seems to be the only one that matters right now. And duplicate it again, change the color and the offset one more time. Now you have three different colored lights that you can control. Next, we're gonna add the strobe effect to one of the layers. And if you're wondering how I'm adding these. It's a video copilot plugin called FX Console. So that just makes it quick and easy. I'm adding a strobe light and change the strobe to makes layer transparent. And we won't change anything else. And copy the strobe effect to the other layers. I'll go ahead and turn them all back on and offset the layers until you get something that looks natural with no dead spaces in between. Go ahead and pre-compose your three shape layers here. And put another glow on this pre-comp. We're going glow threshold to 33%, radius to 58, and intensity just leave at one for now. Let's put one more glow on this layer. So duplicate the one that we have, but change the radius to 42 and the intensity to 0.4. On the lights layer, change the layer mode to add. And for me, this green one is way too bright. It doesn't look like the other ones. So we'll just uh, go into that one and turn it down a little bit. So this is just way too bright and kind of cartoonish. So for now, we're gonna turn off the top glow. We'll get back to it though. All right, now the fun part is we're going to use these lights brightness to reveal the day picture if you've taken it. 
So copy the lights layer and the background layer because I don't have a nighttime picture. Just deleting this curve will show the full brightness of the image. And on the copy of the lights layer, we're gonna blur and expand the heck out of it. So put on your Gaussian blur and bring it up to 60. That second glow that we turned off before, yeah, turn that back on. And change the mode on the layer to normal. And the track mat option to the house set at luma mat. And to stay organized, I'm just renaming my layers to something that makes sense. And that's the look, you got your lights and it looks like there's a wash from the lights that's lighting up the actual background. And for a bonus, we're gonna change how these lights will look and make it look like they're actually animating around in a circle. To get started on that part of it, on your shape layer, turn off the strobe light effect. And you'd think animating the offset of the dashes will get the effect we want, but it's not, so don't do that. What you're gonna want to do is on the shape layer, go to contents, push this little add arrow and go to trim paths. In that, changing the offset will rotate your lights. You ready for a simple expression? Alt click the offset and simply put time star 50. Well, the bigger the number, the faster it's gonna rotate. And we can just copy that trim paths and paste it into our two other layers. And of course, this is way too smooth. So make it a new adjustment layer and put on posterize time and set the frame rate to five. And you're all done and use the same steps to copy this as much as you want. Thanks for sticking around and I hope you learned something. Until next time, see you later.